Hello everyone and welcome to Film Dirt. After a little while I thought I'd come back to revisit the JFK topic by re-watching 1991's JFK, directed by Oliver Stone. Now as we know, Oliver Stone can't leave this subject behind, can he? There's many resources of information where he's dipped back into the topic by giving interviews online. And of course recently he developed a couple of very insightful documentaries on the topic. The one I covered on this channel was the shorter uh, JFK Revisited Through the Looking Glass. That was two parts and I recall two hours as well. The other much longer version in four parts was Destiny Betrayed. And I hear that was much more comprehensive with many more interviews. Yeah, such a, a shocking and all-consuming topic. And I do think Oliver Stone is consumed by this and rightfully so because when you think about it he was serving in Vietnam and if JFK had lived longer I don't think America would have been in Vietnam for as long as they were. That's just my personal opinion. He's got that kind of connection to it. So I saw the new 4K version of this movie. It looks fantastic and I saw it in its director's cut which I've read that was 17 minutes longer. I think I saw the theatrical cut originally, so I thought I'd just watch the director's cut this time, just for completeness. It is a great looking film, I don't think the film is going to look much better than this ever. And the grainy parts of the old footage, you know, the Zapruder film, still look nice and grainy and in their originality, I guess. And what I found so fascinating about this film is that it's really old now. It was released in the early 90s, and it's still just as relevant now as it was then. And that just shows that there's been no progress with the actual case itself. We know what we saw, and despite all of the documents supposedly uncovered by a couple of presidents since, I think uh, Donald Trump released uh, many more documents previously held by the CIA, and we're still in the same place we were. We've got all of the usual stories, we've got all of the usual evidence, you know, all the usual conspiracies, and nothing's been clarified, and I don't think anything will ever be clarified now. Too much time has passed, and a lot of significant people that were involved are now no longer with us. All we've got now is just documents, and I fear even if we do have everything uncovered, we're going to be none the wiser. And this is pretty much what this film covers. It leans heavily on the conspiracy. The Zapruder film is looked at in the film, and I'm surprised to this day that they still included it which does make the conclusion of the Warren Commission as being a lone gunman you know, very suspiciously wrong, doesn't it? It does kind of look like there was more than one shooter. So that's what Garrison tries to uncover, brilliantly played by Kevin Costner. He's always brilliant in every film he's in. And there's a great cast throughout, and I'm surprised that some of the names that are here, John Candy, Jack Lemmon, Walter Matthau, Joe Pesci plays David Ferry, Tommy Lee Jones... And one surprising piece of casting that I'm not really surprised with is Gary Oldman as Lee Harvey Oswald. And I say I'm not surprised because Gary Oldman just buries himself in every role he's ever been cast in and just kind of becomes that role. Such a superb actor. So again, Oliver Stone brings a very compelling case here. And you're still asking the question, was it the Cubans? You know, was it the FBI or the CIA? Or was it the Mafia? Or was it the Russians? And that moment that David Ferry kind of, you know, he lights a touch paper with his uh, discussion with uh, Garrison that makes Garrison want to look at the reopened case. I think we've all reopened this case many times, you know, throughout our lifetimes, haven't we? It's just incredibly fascinating. And when you think of any conspiracy theory, it's always this for me that pops up. It's either this or the death of Princess Diana or 9-11 you know, all these shocking and very tragic cases that will never be resolved. So all the reactments of these interviews in a mixture of archive footage style and current movie style, just compelling and it almost seems like we're just being delivered all of the evidence available to us in many versions. And again, it kind of does lean on the conspiracy, very much so. We know what side of the fence Oliver Stone sits on, but watching him tell the story as he has done a few times over the years never never really softens the blow of what actually happened. I said before in my review of his documentary that 
you know, that Zapruder film is still to this day completely shocking. I don't think I've ever seen much stuff, you know, that was actually actual footage that is as shocking as that. Now, this film wasn't really a successful blockbuster. It was a kind of moderate success, I read. And it's only home sales afterwards that found some momentum. And, of course, the great cast helps. You know, people always want to see great actors playing out brilliant scenes. And Tommy Lee Jones in this is a surprise for me. I thought he was great. Donald Sutherland is also as good. And each time we see one of these great actors... They're always revealing a little bit more about the case. For a score, I'd be happy to give this four and a half. And that's probably for either version of the film. Maybe the theatrical cut is more concise. But I'm happy to sit through extra footage. It's a, a time period where Oliver Stone was at his peak. And he is a great director. And when you watch a great director uh, telling a story about their chosen topic, you know you're usually in for something good. And like I said at the top of the review, no matter how many times you watch and re-watch the evidence and all the footage, it may never be resolved. And you could say that's why it's so fascinating. Also check out Oliver Stone's documentaries. Like I said, I dipped into JFK Revisited and I'll put a link to that review in the description below. And I'll thank you very much for joining me once again. Do join me again for next time. Like and subscribe. Speak to you soon. All the best and take care.